Thank you to my Patreon supporters, Mace Made Heat and Vinicius, for making this video possible. And you are now tuned into Calsoscope. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Calsoscope. If you don't know who I am, I'm a sports designer currently with the Yukon Huskies. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the best foot shadows and points of contact shadows because you want to get your feet slash ground shadows correct on your designs and it really brings them together. I see a lot of designers always making great pieces, great artwork, but their feet shadows are always just not there, just not matching the rest of the design. Ambient seclusion in a more broken down sense, a more understandable sense. Point of contact, where the point of contact is, will be completely black. Then spreading away from that, farther away from black, gets more close to white if you're thinking about it on just a gray scale. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to actually execute this on every foot shadow that you really need to do and just like the importance of ambient seclusion and I'm going to be doing these examples with some Stephen Curry masks so so without further ado let's not waste any time make sure you guys drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and share with a friend if this helps let's go all right guys so now you guys see right here I got this mask of Stephen Curry and he's doing whatever pose that he's doing so let's go ahead and let's add his foot shadows and let's make them masterful let's make them real nice real perfect almost to a T okay so what you're gonna want to do for foot shadows is you're gonna want to notice where the point of contacts are and the point of contacts are gonna be right here at the bottom of his feet where it's touching and in this case he's touching earth he's touching the floor so that is where the point of contact is gonna be and it's gonna be completely back underneath that so let's just add a layer underneath this curry mask and I'm gonna go to black I'm gonna choose my black color okay it's always good to just choose your black color. The second thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your brush settings and you're going to want to turn your hardness down. Now there is a shortcut to turning your hardness down. You just hold down alt or option on the Mac and then you right click and scroll vertically for hardness. You scroll horizontally for uh, the size. I think I made a video on that. I will link it down below if you guys are confused on that. But that's a shortcut to make your hardness less harsh or you can do the brush setting way, the old fashioned way. But I just suggest you learning that shortcut. I'm gonna bring my hardness down then I'm gonna right click on my screen and I'm also going to bring the orientation of the brush down flat, okay? So a lot of times what I see is people will leave their brush like super like this and then they're trying to do shadows with a brush that is a full circle when it should be flat so it corresponds with the ground more so the uh, next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drop your flow down to somewhere like 30 around 30 okay and now underneath this foot we're just going to brush and we're going to get that point of contact and understand the point of contact will be completely black all right it will be the other thing you can always do is do the same thing on your eraser and bring your eraser's orientation down, and bring your eraser's flow down as well. And then you can just play with the mask and play with the point of contact. So you really wanna just emphasize that that's the point of contact right there and it's black. See, already we're getting a great result from just a couple of brush strokes. And you don't have to go too crazy with any of this. Always just change your flow whenever you're doing a project or whatever the case may be. And then, you know, if the light is hitting him evenly, there's not gonna be a cast shadow like coming towards us like this. In this case, I think that I'm gonna put a little cast shadow coming towards us. So I'm just developing that. Okay, and then I'm just always gonna go back if I need, if need be. Where's the point of contact? See, this lifts up a little bit so it's not gonna be completely dark under here. You're gonna have a little bit less uh, shade under there because this is where it starts to lift up. Okay, cool. Now you're gonna do the same thing for the other foot. You're gonna do the same exact steps. I'm just shading underneath. I'm like, okay, this is where the foot lifts up. It's not gonna be completely dark under there. It's gonna be dark, but not. Then I'm gonna bring out a little bit in front. The other thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna add a little bit of shadow actually to Curry's mask on his actual mask. So we're gonna go ahead and do that next. So I have this Curry in a group because I added a bunch of adjustments, but you know, don't really even worry about that. This is just gonna be his mask. So I'm gonna condense it to the mask of him. And I'm gonna clip this layer to Curry. So right click, create clip and mask or the shortcut if you know it, holding down Alt, clicking at the bottom of the layer icon and then just clicking, okay? And what we're gonna do now is just add a little bit at the bottom just to emphasize that point of contact and this is always like the last yeah almost always like the last step for my foot shadows i do like to add a little bit of 
dark right where it meets. I think it just gives it a better feel overall. Don't have to do it, but I think it gives it a better feel overall. So I'm just adding a slight little shadow on the bottom for the point of contact. Now I'll just erase as I see fit. And yeah, so it's just gonna vary. It's not gonna be exactly the same each time. All right, and there you go for the first example. I just went in and like cleaned up a little bit of the fringes that were on the outside of that foot to make it look very clean, very cool. So just understand that yes, right underneath where you're gonna have that shadow, it's gonna be completely dark. Drop your flow down, make your brush softer, and then just develop it, okay? Just develop it, take your time. Like literally take your time on foot shadows. That's really all it kinda comes down to. Um, and understand that the point of the touch is the only place you're gonna have completely dark shadows You're not gonna have completely black like underneath like I see a lot of the time like That doesn't look good. So don't do that. Okay now we're gonna do this example of Stephen Curry So we're gonna do the same thing We're gonna add a layer underneath and I'm gonna add my point of contact first We're gonna deal with that first get that out of the way this foot is meeting earth a little bit of a different angle I put out a bunch of different angles on here so you guys will be able to practice a bunch of different angles All right, there we go with that shadow. Now this one can get a little tricky, right? Cause his foot is up. So understand that his foot is up and it's not making contact with the ground. So in this case, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna do a completely dark shadow? No, we're not. We're gonna actually flatten this even more from our orientation. And we're just gonna go like that. Okay, so that's like pretty good representation of what the foot is gonna be. It's not on the ground, but it's close to the ground. And then you're always gonna wanna make sure in the middle of your shadow, it's gonna be a little bit darker than the outsides cause it, like I said in the intro, it, your shadows are gonna transition from black to more towards white if you're just talking about grayscale. So there you go with that. And it's gonna be a little bit darker on the inside as it transitions out. Then if you wanted to emphasize it like we did before, you can just add a little bit of shadow underneath. So this is gonna just, this just makes it look more, even more dynamic, you know, that's the word, dyna dynamic. I'm always, I'm always into making things looking dynamic. This will help it. Okay. Last one. And I'm noticing this is a little bit, might be a little too much in there. Once you start doing a couple of these, you'll be like, all right, I got this. I have this shadow right here and that's the point of contact. This one's actually kind of tough because it's like, where is this shadow gonna be? I'm gonna actually make another layer and then just experiment with this foot, okay? So like that, I'm making sure that I have that little bit of depth in between those two feet. My shadow is probably gonna be something like that. Maybe I'll turn it a little bit something of that sort and then i'm making sure it's like darkest towards the center of that shadow once again maybe stretch it out you know just experiment with your shadows have fun with it and if you ask me i would definitely say that these three shadows are definitely done like i said before you can go in and you can tweak these as much as you want add you know reflections i didn't do reflections in this video if you guys want me to do a reflections video I can uh, drop that as well, but foot shadows are super, super important. So I hope that this helped you out and uh, definitely experiment with this. Try it out on a lot of different angles. Don't only do when people's fleet, 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 feet are touching the ground. You have to do different angles so that you know the level of value that is going to be shown from the shadows that are gonna be making contact with the floor versus if they're jumping in the air, leaving the air, anything like that. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys stay scoped and do not miss the next video where I'll be talking about how you can- This was a Calso Scoped production. Feel free to subscribe and support the creator on Patreon. Ain't no crumbs upon the plate. Love and loyalty is everything. Ain't much else to say.